Before I start this video, I'm going to let y'all know I'm going to be doing a lot of talking. So if you want some information, you can tune in. But if you don't, and you don't really care how much it costs me to build this car, or you don't really care about building another LS swap car or anything, you don't have to watch it. But I'm just trying to put some information out there for some people that who, who would be interested in trying to drag race these cars or just doing basic swaps. Uh, this is just a, uh, it's a long video, but it's going to be really informative um, on like things that, uh, what actually will just be what it costs me to do the car. Um, you can take what you want from it, you can leave whatever you don't need, but I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about what it cost me to go FIES in my G35. So initially when I started this project out, uh, I wanted a 240. Um, I didn't want to pay a drift tax for it, so I ended up finding a friend. Um, he, had, uh, G the, he had the Hippo, I bought it from, uh, he bought it from an auction um to try to flip it uh but it had a locked up motor they tried everything to unstick the motor but um in the end they couldn't they couldn't get it unstuck so come to find out it was just a seized motor um so what they end up doing is they parted out the front end um and uh brake calipers because it was a brembo edition car and they pretty much got their money back for the car and what they spent so they sold me the roller for eight hundred and fifty dollars So they sold me the roller for $850. Um, it didn't have a front end or anything in that, but it did come with a motor exhaust, um, a transmission, and it came full interior and everything. And it came on some like 20 inch wheels, which I sold. So with me selling everything to get the car back, uh, not to get, well, to get the front end back together and brakes, I ended up still having to come up. It came up to $850. So in total, I have $850 in just a roller alone. So, um, I found a guy on, uh, I bought one motor, the first motor I bought was a Gen 3, uh, 53. um, I ended up losing oil pressure in that, um, and then I had bought another Gen 4, 53. had a, I ended up getting a rod knock in that, but the motor I have in there now is a Gen 4 aluminum 53. and let's just say I spent a thousand bucks on that with the, uh, heads, so, uh, engine, oh, up thousand bucks all right um and it came with 799s i sold those for what i got in my 243 so they ended up coming out to be the same thing so uh with with the motor uh the motor i have now i have an lsa oil pump 100 bucks off it for amazon um we had arp rod bolts this is just a vague breakdown of you know what it cost me. I think I paid like a hundred bucks for those two. Bought all that off Amazon. Everything on this build I bought off Amazon. Um, ARP crank bolt, forty bucks for that. Um, yeah, oil pan gasket that was twenty bucks. I mean we're not gonna count like the small stuff. Like this is just uh, um, let's see, Spirit, uh, Speedmaster head studs. Paid eighty dollars for those. I had to buy a CX racing oil pan. That was uh. 560 bucks I think um, the ISR mounts that was it was like 400 bucks with the shifter um, and I ended up selling the shifter because I used a, a sicky shifter which cost me like 600 bucks so I ended up selling the shifter for like 200 bucks so I got I spent 200 bucks on mounts technically um, that's what I written down on my phone from earlier all right, so my cam kit cost me 800 bucks. It was a BTR cam kit. Morel or Morel, I don't know how you say it. Morel LSA lifter. So lifters. That was 180 bucks. And most of the stuff I got on deals from people, like the lifters, um, uh, the trunnion upgrade I bought from Michigan Motorsports. Uh, that's an Amazon company. It was two 200 bucks. So Trunnion, don't, don't mind my spelling, I'm, I'm terrible right now. Uh, it was 200. So let's see, right now we've got, so right now we're at 30, we're going to put over here 30 to 10. All right, we're going to erase this. 
after all that, uh, for as far as like dry trading, I started out with uh, T56 Magnum, so trans. It was uh, 3,500 from Jags. Um, the I, and then uh, I bought well before I bought the T56 Magnum, I bought an F body T56, and I ended up spending 1,400 bucks on that. So trans and the uh, F body trans. But it was stuck in third gear, I think. But come to find out, it was just a clutch issue the guy had. So I could have used that T56, but it would have never held whatever I threw at it when I threw 700 horsepower at the car. Um, so uh, I ended up selling that transfer like 900 bucks, and I kept the bell housing that came with it. So um, let's see, minus 900, that'll put us at like 600 bucks. No, 500 bucks. I'm sorry. All right, so we got 500 bucks. So I got $4,000 in, in a transmission. And I bought an ACT twin disc. And this is when I was a diehard, like, manual guy. Like, oh, you know, um, I spent 1100 bucks on that. Actually, no, I spent 950 on that. I got that on a deal. Spent 950 on it. Um, uh, let's see, what would master cylinder cost me? Uh, 120 bucks. Uh, I had to buy a billet sticky shifter because the way the, I positioned the motor, um, it was like almost 11 inches from where the shifter position was, so I had to buy a shifter plate. It was $660 because I had to buy another 2 inch extension like uh, handle. And then uh, the drive shaft cost me 450 bucks. A brand new steel three inch drive shaft, um, three inch diameter, 450. And I got the yoke free from a friend. Terrible amount, don't judge me. So we're at plus 50 to 30. All right. So as far as let's say the engine management. And uh, the stuff that I covered, with, as far as the motor, that included what I needed to swap the car too. So that's thirty-two hundred dollars just to get the motor. Actually, it wasn't thirty-two hundred dollars to get the motor in the car. It could have been less to get the motor in the car. But after I got the car running, and the more I started doing more research on the car, I realized that I could start adapting a lot of things that uh, from like uh, other swap cars to my car. But I didn't find it out until like. A couple months ago the more I wanted to keep doing uh, pushing the motor back and everything else so we're gonna go into the engine management all right when I started coming up with the whole idea of building this car uh, Holly Terminator wasn't out then so the only options I had was either getting an HP a Dominator or fuel tech or using a stock engine harness um, and a stock ECU and for me having accessibility to uh, tuning my car on the fly was more important to me than how much it will cost for me to do it. So I talked to a couple friends. I tried to see how many deals I could get on engine on engine management as far as Holly or Fuel Tech or well I didn't know about Fuel Tech then. As far as Holly, but I couldn't get any deals. So I talked to one of my friends and he told me about Fuel Tech and he told me that it was like an ECU, a display and everything that I need basically all in one box I didn't need to order an ECU and then a wire harness and then a display if I wanted a display like I wanted everything all in one thing so I bought FuelTech FT500 and I think I spent like 1700 bucks I can't remember the exact number of what I spent on it it was like 1700 and then uh, I bought an unterminated harness which I still have I don't know whatever I'm gonna use it um, I spent 150 for it. It was 150. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much right because I think I spent 1900 bucks something like that. So it was probably 1750 for the ECU, and because uh, I bought it from Michael Burton, um, Michael Button, sorry. Uh, so yeah, spent that on the ECU and on terminal wire harness, and I was gonna start building. Uh, fuse panel for it, but I never did. Well, I started to, and then it was taking too long. I won't just want to get the car running, so I spent like 1170 on a Terminator harness, 
and that was like 1170 and you can spend a thousand bucks now on engine management and be fine and you can get a terminator but like I said when I built this car like almost two years ago it wasn't out so I everybody that's doing this now can do a whole lot cheaper than what I'm doing it for alright so we got that on engine harness as far as my fuel system uh, the fuel system I have Bosch 210's from eBay like 300 bucks on those um, I have uh, Amazon fuel lines like 200 bucks at the most on those lines and fittings um, I have two AEM fuel pumps uh, two AEM 400's Uh, those were like 120 bucks a piece. I, that's what the, that's what I got them for. I spent 240 dollars on those. Uh, I had a Walbur Wal <laughs> Walbro two uh, 450 in tank pump. Um, I spent like 80 bucks on that. Uh, I had a surge tank from eBay. I spent thirty dollars on that, and I used an eBay fuel pressure regulator. It was forty bucks. So that's all I have in my fuel system. Um, when my intake manifold was five hundred, intake manifold was five hundred and nine dollars with the fuel rail and throttle bodies, and a throttle body. Um, so I didn't have to spend anything on that. I mean, not I didn't have to spend anything on the uh, the fuel rails, uh, and. So yeah, um, what else we got? Uh, we're gonna talk about the turbo kit. Turbo kit was done really. In oh no, I should have totaled that up. All right, let me total this up. Um, two tens were. I got it written down, so I totaled it up. Five. Oh no, three hundred bucks. This video is going to be pretty long, it's just going to be me talking for a long time, but it'll be pretty informative for anybody that wants to do this swap and I don't want to spend a million dollars, learn from my mistakes. So I have 1400 bucks in my fuel system. Alright. Uh, let's talk turbo kit. Okay, turbo kit is pretty simple. Um, I have truck manifolds. I got those for free. I had those things for like six years <laughs> because I always planned on building the LS car and I never knew when I was going to do it. I almost started. I paid half on a roller and I never went through it and like an idiot I built another Honda. So I got my intake, my truck manifolds for free. I got them from a junkyard when I used to work there. Um, I paid 650 bucks for a Borg S475. Uh, it was a T4. Um, I spent, I think, $75 on a billet T4 flange. I got $80 and the uh, hot side piping um, I spent a hundred and thirty dollars on the intercooler piping and it was like a hundred and seventy no 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 it was a hundred and fifty on the four inch down pipe And what else? Oh, it's got a $50 blow off valve on it. And, uh, what? $60 wastegate? And what else?
else does it have? Oh, oh when I was air to air in a cooler. It was a hundred and call it hundred and fifty bucks. Four inch cool. Four inch. Um yeah, that's all I had on my turbo kit. So yeah, if we add that up, twelve forty five. Like I said, you can buy this cheaper. Um and yeah, you can do that for cheap, like real cheap now. You can actually get a bigger turbo for that price with VS Racing. It'll be a build of little turbo. Um, you can get an 88 for 650 I think. Um, but anyway, that's the bulk of the turbo kit. All right, so let's talk accessories. Um, I bought a fluid dampener. It was 380 bucks, I think, shipped. Um, I also bought a self-exciting alternator. It was two hundred bucks from uh, from Jags or Summit. Um, uh, F body water pump, hundred bucks, hundred bucks, and the alternator bracket was was another hundred from uh, ICT. Uh, the alternator, you don't have to buy a two hundred dollar alternator. You can use all F body accessories. I recommend that you get an aftermarket dent. Don't play with fire and run stop balancer and be out here revving your, your motors to like 68, 7,000. I rev mine to like 72, 7,300. Haven't had a, had a bearing noise. Haven't had anything yet. I learned this after I lost oil pump on the last, lost oil pressure on the first motor and the bearing went on the second motor. After I put this dampener on here, everything changed. So I feel like this is like the most important thing that I could have ever done. It's only $380. You can get one from Texas Speed um, for I think like $230 or something like that. F-body, Corvette, truck, don't matter. So I recommend anybody that's doing one of these swaps to get a dampener. Alright, so we're going to total all this up. This is just a rough estimate in what I have in the car. This is not counting like the... The first two motors, which I spent like maybe a thousand extra thousand dollars on that. So if you want to add an extra thousand dollars onto this tally, you can. And I bought a lot of things new. You can shop around and save yourself some money. So I've got fourteen nine thirty five initially in the car. Well, initially, well, oh, let me back that up. So we have 14,935 now. 14,935. All right. This is no wheels or anything. So I spent uh, nine. I got the Belloc OGs for $980. Um, I got Jex Front Runners, and this is before they were real popular when they first came out. Um, those were, I'd say, 160 bucks a piece, maybe. No, they were 120 a piece. I lied. So I spent 240 bucks on front runners. Uh, front runner tires were like 200 bucks a piece. Tires. Um, that was 400 bucks. Um, and then uh, the pros that I have now I spent like 200 bucks for for them used from John. I buy John's old tires because my car ain't that fast so I ain't got to worry about that. Um, I bought eBay struts for the car. Those were 100 bucks. Um, I bought a rear camera kit. It was like 130 bucks, and uh, traction arms for the rear. They were eighty dollars, I think. Sixty-five, seventeen, sixty-five, zero, six, five in the car total. 
before the auto. Okay, so I got seventeen thousand dollars in the car, still a manual, slow as shit. So what do I do? Um, I put the car in the eighty-five. It goes like uh, ten thirty at one thirty-six or something like that. But the eighth mile is like really low. It's like a six seven. Um, I had uh, after a while, it got really hard for me to put the car in second gear. Um, because the clutch that I had in there was more for like street driving, but you want to make power it was for road racing, really. Built the car to road race, never really cared about going to a track with it because I was dead terrified of going to a track with a car. So I started going to a track with it a lot. I started getting fun. I wanted to go faster. I started learning how to drive the car more and more and more. Um, so uh, I was like, I started, uh, me and John started hanging out. I was like, hey man, just put an auto on the car, put an auto on the car, put an auto on the car. I'm like, alright, forget it. We'll go ahead, we'll put an auto on the car. So I sell the T56 for 3500 And I buy a, so we're going to take 3500 Well, no, we're not going to take 3500 We're going to leave this 3500 because I spent 500 bucks on a converter. Um, and then I bought a shifter for two hundred eighty-five dollars, um, and I bought the Trans, the TH four hundred for, uh, let's say fifteen hundred bucks, okay. And then the drive shaft cost me another four hundred and thirty-five dollars because I had to get a whole brand new one made. So, and I got twenty-seven hundred bucks. In the whole auto swap, um, you got seven hundred eighty bucks. All right, so you take seven hundred and eighty dollars out of there. All right, so you got seventeen sixty-five minus seven eighty sixteen two eighty-five. All right, so we auto swap it. Uh, first hit car goes like six sixty and eighth. Still goes to 1030 because I'm blowing through the converter. Swap converters out. Do some no prep racing. Like, ah, oh, this auto crap is trash because can't get the car to work. Uh, break an axle on the first hit to that track. Then um, I go to Galat, I think. And I make a couple of hits there. The fastest I went there was like a 630. So I was like, all right, well, you know, car's working out. Um, so. The fastest I could go on the S475, um, and I never really tried to turn it up down low. I just kept putting boost on top. Um, I thought the turbo uh, was my limiting factor because it had a small back housing. It was a 110 back housing. So I uh, sold the turbo for 400 bucks. So minus 400 bucks, and I bought well. I bought uh, a turbo for S480 from Chris um, for 500 bucks. So we at 16.385 right now. All right. So after that, use the turbo. Car goes like a 6.0 consistently. Can never get into a 590 until one day. I decided I was just gonna put two more pounds on top of the gate. I was gonna go 590. Actually, no, I lied. They kept going. It went the fastest I went on the S four seventy five was a six zero. Can never get it to go a five ninety. So I bought a turbo from Chris, put it on there. First or second hit, I think it was. It went a um, it went a five ninety. So yeah, second hit went a five ninety. All right. So then after that, trans took a shit. So we had to pull trans out, um, and. That became the whole ordeal why I took the car apart and I was like I moved the, the motor back and everything else. So pretty much plus or minus a thousand dollars, it's gonna cost you like sixteen grand in a swap car. With that's with getting the car, that's like everything you need from start to finish. With car, you're probably gonna need about sixteen thousand dollars. That's what it cost me. Not saying that's what it's gonna cost you, I should say that. It could probably cost you about five thousand dollars less because you can buy things used, um, and uh, if you already have a shell, you already spent money on that. So if you want to tally that in, you can. You can't. Um, this is what I have in my car. Um, 
This is what I have in my car before I take it apart, I should say. So, now that it's apart, I have uh, sold my engine mounts. All right, engine mounts, sold, sold mounts. So we're gonna start a sold thing now. Sold my mounts uh, and the oil pan. Well, I sold the intake mount for 350 bucks. Mounts. Uh, intake manifold, 350 bucks. Um, I still have my fuel pump for sale. Don't know what I'm gonna do with those yet. I think that's all I saw of the car so far. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, the ice tank. The ice tank I sold for 100 bucks. I didn't even tie that in there. The air to water. I spent like 300 bucks to go air to water. So you can plus 300 bucks, so it's 3600. 36. I mean, not 36. <laughs> 16. 16. So. Alright, so after I sold all that stuff, I ended up buying the Big Junior for 500 bucks. <laughs> I just re I continuously recycle. Uh, uh, oh, and I sold the turbo. I sold the turbo. For 600 bucks so I made a little profit off that turbo all right um, uh, I bought I spent 500 bucks on well, I spent 500 bucks on oh the Vic Junior I spent a hundred bucks on the motor plate and I just bought the turbo it was another 600 bucks so I bought, sold a used turbo, bought a new used turbo, sold a used turbo, bought a new turbo for the same price, 17 so 17 five. all right, that's what I have in my car right now, oh, and I bought strange rear struts, so that was another, no, uh, 400 bucks, <laughs> so yeah, so by the end of, you know, when I'm done with all of this, I'm going to have like 20 grand in the car, give or take, I have nothing else left to sell, so, it's gonna cost one twenty grand to go five forties. You wanna go that fast? You can go that fast. You want a basic swap? You can spend a fraction of this. Um, pretty much twenty grand would have me a uh, five forty car. Um, it cost some people more, cost some people less. Uh, just depends on how you do it. Uh, all in all, I'm just ready to have my car running. Um, this video. I'm gonna put it out. Hope you enjoyed some of this information. Hopefully, some of you guys out there uh, that want to swap your ZOG car and you want to go this fast, this is pretty much what it's gonna cost you. So yeah, I hope this helps out anybody that wants to swap a ZOG chassis. You can do it less or you can do it more. Um, like I said, I got some deals on some stuff, some other stuff I paid retail for because I was impatient. Um, some other things like I got for free. So. Uh, Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next upload.